everyone, I'm Will Ardros with Commando.com. We go through our lives often taking for granted the electricity we use daily. In this Commando.com report, we look at the power grid and what life could be like if we were forced to live without it. What we've never had is a cyber attack that amounts to a weapon of mass destruction. And my point is that if someone succeeds in taking down one of our power grids, it would be devastating. That was former ABC newsman Ted Koppel on PBS NewsHour. He's the author of Lights Out, a book about what might happen if there was a successful cyber attack on the power grid. If just nine substations were taken out, the entire country would go dark. And here's the thing, US intelligence officials believe an attack on our power grid is imminent, and it won't be the Russians or Chinese. Iran, North Korea, and ISIS are all more likely to strike, unless we do something about it. There are a few theories, and one is dismantling the power grid altogether. It's much better to think about microgrids, a community coming together and generating its own power, and then possibly trading any surplus power they have with the next door community. There's no need to have this huge, expensive, monolithic national grid. Author Nick Rosen is living off the grid right now on a mountainside, but that doesn't mean he's without modern luxuries. His home runs on solar panels and batteries, and he still watches TV and shops on Amazon. Nick says living off the grid is not about being a hippie or a liberal, it's about being prepared. The president has twice mentioned it in successive State of the Union addresses, warning that there are those who are trying to get into our infrastructure, especially the power grid. The Secretary of Defense at the time, Leon Panetta, called the threat of a cyber attack on the power grid potentially a cyber Pearl Harbor. Reducing dependence on the grid takes away a target from our enemies and we'll use less energy. That's because right now, 30% of the energy generated is wasting on transmitting power. The electrical grid is an interconnected network used for delivering electricity. Utility companies created it because it was cheaper and more efficient for them to create electricity in one centralized location. So instead of simply providing an electricity supply, the business became how to sell us more power. Nick says you don't have to leave the comfort of your home for the side of a mountain to live off the grid. He just cautions against putting all of your eggs in one basket. I'm Will Ardros for Commando.com. Kim further examines the risks facing the grid in her Commando On Demand podcast. She finds out how we can protect it and what happens if we don't. And you can hear it on Commando.com. That's K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com. Thanks for watching.